Uh, I came to this country 20 years ago as only the female from India to pursue the master's in mechanical engineering. And I'm the only one in the class who is a female, even with all the admissions in the class. And uh, later, uh, I have designed uh, in a shipbuilding company and later with a Caterpillar and also some uh, very interesting uh, projects for EDS and some um, very secure security related operations. So I landed in Hosman as the design engineer 13 years ago and that's how I started my career. And it's been very um, interesting transformation within Hosman how I enhanced my design capabilities into process improvement and then uh, became a process improvement leader and henceforth now a program manager. Mostly the face of IT to the business with the same applications, whether it might be Solid Edge, PLM and whatnot. So today that is about me and without any further delay, I would like to say about Hasman with a small video, just like how I'm here between you and lunch, Hasman is here between what he is getting on your tables and what exactly is going behind. So with that, I'll just go. The best way to predict the future is to create it. We battle the world. And you make it possible through innovation, imagination, and commitment. Our success is a journey. Learning from our hands and looking at you to tomorrow. And then you think about tomorrow. It starts today. business, for our customers, for every dinner table in the world. It all begins today. So how did it all start? So it started at version 5 and uh, I did a brief uh, history investigation within Hasman to prepare this slide for you all. I didn't even know that we are close to celebrating our Silver Jubilee with Solid Edge next year. So it's been um, for 24 years we have been using Solid Edge. And initially it was started with the sheet metal design in parts where the interesting fact is Siemens sheet metal package is designed or prepared based upon all the learnings that have been with the collaboration with Husman. So that is one of the things. And even though we started with sheet metal parts and drawings and also mainly fabricated parts, now we are more into uh, our uh, purchased parts and frame assemblies and also piping routing across all our locations that we design. And um, pretty much we are, uh, it is a backbone for all our product designs. And this is one of the cool examples which I thought because everybody is going to demonstrate solid edge model features and everything. So something cool that we all can relate to as a drawing and a model. So um, we are also trying to venture into more solid edge electrical. And recently the shape search, which we are trying to um, get some productivity in our, either to uh, identify the duplicate files and also to enhance the functionalities. So this is what is in the past. And where are we today? Uh, Hussman, as we have many other parent companies throughout um, the journey, and it's a 115 years, we are celebrating the 115 years today, uh, this year, 
not today, this, this uh, 20, in 2021. So we, we also have many partnerships and many um, pretty much uh, acquisitions. And we recently acquired a doors business in uh, Sarasota, Florida, which is where um, not only the um, doors in our refrigerators, but also the fixed windows and the doors that you see in a beer chiller or a wine chiller or any of the products. So after that acquisition, then they're completely on 2D. They're in AutoCAD. They don't have any solid, they don't have any 3D models. They, they're just like working off of the PDFs and uh, the production floor is working off of the back. So the first initiative that Husman took after taking that company is conversion of all the 2D AutoCAD into 3D. And beyond that, one step ahead, it's not exactly the design configurator, but more of the parametric modeling. So we create, we developed a macro just to use a fixed window. If you see a beer chiller, we see the windows around the chiller to see the beer inside. So for that fixed windows, it's pretty much the, length, the parameters that define that window, created that as a macro, which uses the master assemblies of Solid Edge and regenerate the models, which releases into Team Center and build a bill of materials and CAD. The, the difference is we don't have the configurator bil configurations built into it, but we can generate the models of configuration but not really a bill of uh, material just for a code, but to production. So that's how we have been using um, that. And for the rest of the Husman, we are not yet integrated with Solid Edge, and also not yet into the journey of the team center uh, to the further evaluation. So with that, I'm going to say, how are we envisioning that? What is that that we are looking into? Is this is our um, future state, or our digital transformation, or our North Star. However, we want to say where we are in the current state is the form, is the basic state where we don't have our bill of material and CAD, just like any other company. Uh, our focus is how can we get from concept to launch when we have a product either by idea or by conceptual design to the launch of the product. We have different steps but how to automate or integrate or take an advantage of different systems that we use. But at the same time, not losing the focus on the process of how we want to do, whether it might be fabricated, purchased, or even for the sales and service business. So today we don't have our uh, bill of material uh, generated, uh, integrated with CAD and also with the team center. And it's all manual CAD data management that we have and also which is uh, really impacting our product transfers. The other element is we have four manufacturing sites um, that we build the products. So some of them are pretty related uh, to configure to order, and some of them are engineered to order, and some of them are assembled to order. So we are all over the board, but at the same time, what is that one solution that can make our product transfers easy? What I meant by that is if we have to transfer a product manufacturing from one manufacturing unit to other, then we are in a design mindset of building or designing it only for one site. So how can we get, get over that? And also using the same systems, but leveraging it. So the first is we have to build that foundation of how we can make our products and options more feasible and also more agile. How can we make them to uh, market sooner? And also, we don't have the manufacturing bill of material today, and how we, how we can generate the manufacturing bill of material with the integrated CAD into Team Center. So that in relation to how we can accelerate into our manufacturing. So that is where we are looking as a North Star, and we are starting on this journey as a concept to launch program. And coming into the next slide is pretty much connecting all the dots that I have talked about from the state of when we start from the product development all the way to the execution. We are also heavy on uh, retails, retail services, installation, and also repair, repair and maintenance of our products. So how can we relate all these items in a way where we will have a touchless order creation and impact the sales and also other um, on time to promise and on time to market? With that, I don't have anything else. Any questions for me?